Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Tech Jigger, with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to reinstall and do a clean install of your AMD Graphista driver. This is for all of you who are experiencing weird graphical issues, game slowdown, and missing switchable graphics option, and any other sort of issues with your graphics card driver. Without any more delay, let's get into the video. So first you need to open AMD Radiant settings, and from here you can see that uh, in systems there is no switchable graphics option this is because this is the older version of crimson radiant settings uh, for before that you need to make sure that you have your laptop have a dual graphics card this can be verified by going to device manager type device manager in the search bar and open device manager from here open display adapter and here you can see i have a radian and a inter graphics card this uh, you can check this by also going to DX DAC. So this can be uh, DX DAC can be opened by DX DIAG own search bar. Open this. Now in the display display uh, you can see your uh, in the graphics card and in the render tab you can see the AMD graphics card. And one more thing that you need to tear note down your AMD graphics card model number. So open a text editor and note down your AMD graphics card. This number this is my AMD Radian R7. Sorry guys, uh, my numstock is not turned on. So R7 M40. M440. Okay, once you note down this, uh, we need to uninstall the previously installed AMD software. That can be understood by going to Control Panel, click on My Computer, this computer, and right click, right click on the, this computer, and click for Properties. From there, you need to press on Control Panel and Programs, and click on Uninstall a program. And there you can see AMD settings. Click and uh, click on this uninstall of change. This will take some time because it's uninstalling the complete software AMD software software from the computer. So we need to wait till the com the uninstall completes. Once this uh, uninstallation completes. Uh, we need to remove all other registry files. So it's com um, completed. Uh, so installation completed. We need to remove the registry files and the remaining files of that AMD uh, settings. This can be removed by using a software uh, called. Okay, before that, uh, we need to uninstall the driver. Also, this can be driver. Driver can be uninstalled from device manager. Then after, we can remove the registry files. Okay, so from the display adapter, double click on the AMD Radian and click on driver tab and click on this uninstall button and click on ok after the taking this uh, box okay the screen goes black out it's natural no problem and here you can see only indoor graphics card is there so we need to remove the registry files open ccleaner i will provide the link for downloading the free cleaner in the description and from here you need to go to this registry tab and scan for issues once the scanning completes we can continue after this scanning completes so it's almost completed before doing anything i recommend you to make a restore point by clicking here you can make a restore point and save and click on fix all selected issues once it's completed close this and still if any files or anything is present on your computer you can remove it by using a official software by amd and it is called uh, amd what is it amd uh, clean uninstall utility this can be downloaded from their website i'll provide the link for this also in the description and open this and once the page loaded so you can see the 
and you know, clean and install UTT and you can download for free from here and there is a complete guide of how to use it is given in this website it's pretty easy guys you can just read it and do it it's not necessary it's, it's not necessary but it's good to uh, clean it by using this method also but you need to restart your computer uh, for doing that okay once the complete in, everything is completed we need to download the latest version of the AMD graphics card driver this can be downloaded from their official website uh, so go to google and here you need to search for AMD driver download and download drivers okay once in your website their website you can see here detect and install and we are going to use the manual one if you are using the, the desktop graphics then that option and uh, from this drop down uh, list we need to select the series uh, so we already not down the graphics card series from here i can see that mine is r7 uh, so i'm going i need to uh, select the r7 series from the drop down list and in this uh, you need to select your model number mine is mm m440 uh, so it's not available so you can go for the uh, m 4 x series so it's same for all and select the uh, windows version and click on display results so okay once you are in this page you can see that uh, this is the latest version of this uh, driver for my graphics card and here you can see the stable version of the driver available for my graphics card and some other tools also click on this download button uh, see in this release notes you can read the or uh, fixes issues and in options downloads you can download any optional software from radian which is useful for you um, and okay if you can't find uh, your graphics card from the drop down list you can go for this automatic uh, auto detect uh, you can download it and the software will auto detect your uh, lab your graphics card and it will download the uh, required uh, software required graphics card driver uh, so you can click for download it here so it's around 39 mb once the download it is completed uh, you can open the uh, installer so it's here I already downloaded uh, so I'm going to open it installation is just like a, any other software installation you need to click on install like that uh, so once it comes wait till it's open So click on install. Uh, so the installation started. This is not actual installation, it's like extracting only the extracting the required files for installation. Once the extraction complete, we can install the driver and it will take some time. So I will skip the uh, that portion of installation. So it will take some time. Uh, don't be too panicked. It will take some time and sometimes your screen goes black out uh, it's natural for storm it's not a problem at all so now the install will open so AMD software install is open now scroll down and click on accept and install so installation is started i will skip to, to the end of the installation so guys the installation complete you can click on the stick and close this installation uh, software okay and close this website also and now we'll open amd rating settings this will take some little bit time because it's initializing everything uh, it's opening for the first time so this will take some time let's wait It's open and uh, now we can see now new tabs are appeared here because some changes have been happened to the software and in again okay, home systems 
you can see that switchable graphics option is now there you can click here and uh, you know if you uh, can't find the system uh, switchable graphics option still here you can go to radiant uh, additional settings and you can skip this part if you can find the switchable graphics option there in the systems uh, if you can't find still after updating to the latest version then you can follow this and this is the radiant additional settings and from this uh, switchable graphics option problem settings uh, click on this plugin and select maximize maximize performance on the plugin so and click apply after that click on this adjust settings and we can select the application which you want to rather than is your uh, AMD graphics card installed in the graphics card so I'm going to select my uh, game GTA 5 uh, so that whenever I run this game uh, this will detect my AMD graphics card instead of Intel graphics card so that's it guys uh, that's selected and click on this and uh, click high performance and click on apply If you if this uh, uh, radiant additional settings is not opening then you can go for an older version a previous one and from this preference uh, you can see this update tab is here and you can see the, the installation and from there you can update also uh, the current version can be viewed from here and click done okay so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this video will be useful for you if you like this video don't forget to click on that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my